Hello, it's 9 p.m. in Art. This time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. We have. Uh, the holding of a consultation workshop for parliamentarians on the uh, ODD. The French elect uh, their president. Welcome to our newsroom. We have uh, the official result of the elections uh, in the Republic of uh, France. Uh, that Emmanuel Macron won uh, with 58% uh, and Marine Le Pen 42%. And uh, the future president of the France Republic will be Emmanuel Macron. The president of the National Assembly, Mohamed Ali Ahmed, presided uh, this morning's uh, consultation workshop for parliamentarians on the sustainable development goals of the headquarters of the parliament uh, with the representative of the offices of coordination of the United Nations in Djibouti. During the workshop, the exchange first focused on the uh, 2013 agenda, then on the institutional mechanisms for the preparations of the voluntary national review on the follow-up of the Sustainable Development Goals and finally to situate the role and responsibility of the Parliament in the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals in the Republic of Djibouti. In this series of workshops for the preparations of the country's first voluntary national review, dialogue with parliamentarians is all, uh, all the more important as they, they play an active uh, role in the achievement of uh, the Sustainable Development Goals. The coordinator of the steering committee and director of multilateral uh, relations at the Ministry of uh, International uh, Cooperation, uh, as well as uh, Ambassador uh, Idris uh, Gele, Idris Omar, uh, delivered a speech in which he, they explained uh, the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, the first voluntary national review to be held in July. The President of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Hamad, in his speech says this opportunity to say how much the ambition uh, to conceive uh, uh, the policies and the strategies as well as the adoptions of these programs to the horizon 2013 of the objectives of the Sustainable Development Goals was a duty of uh, coherence uh, between the objectives. Moreover, the 2013 agenda explicitly and uh, clearly describes that parliamentarians have a fundamental role to play in the adoptions and achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, not only as legislators, but also as elected representatives of the people. Chaired by the Honorable Abdurrahman Awal Yassin, the Foreign Affairs Committee met uh, this Sunday, April 24, 2022, to consider the draft law number 152E and 2028L on the ratification of the financing agreement for the Djibouti Regional Economic Corridor project. During this meeting, the government was represented by the Ministry of uh, Equipment and uh, Infrastructure Hassan Hamad Arbahim and the general directors of Adyar Subane Saeed, accompanied by senior officials from uh, the ministries of uh, economy. After extensive discussions between parliamentarians and the executive, the committee deliberated on its agenda with a favorable opinion to the transmissions in public session. This week, a delegation led by the Secretary General of the National Commission for UNESCO, Mohamed Musa Yabe, visited the interior regions to discuss with the educational community of each region the ways and means to keep girls and in schools. It goes that the efforts made by the state on girls' enrollment and uh, retention is are considerable and have changed the lives of uh, thousands of girls and consequently thousands of families since the issue of equity has become a central theme in educational planning. One, will, one only has to look uh, at the figures of uh, on uh, gross uh, enrollment and gender parity in primary, middle, middle school and secondary education is to appreciate how fa far we have uh, come and how hard uh, we have uh, worked. Uh, however, the ambitious objectives of the Ministry of National Education, vocational training, focused on this uh, issue will uh, only be achieved if 
it if uh, all the school's actors uh, get involved and double their efforts. As part of the activities of the Blessed Mass of Ramadan, the recreational sports activity are continuing in the CDC of Djibouti City and the interior region. It's as usual, these tournaments are a ritual that uh, dominates this holy mass of Ramadan in all CDCs. Thus, the CDCs constitute the real me meeting place for the youth, and it is before and uh, after the breaking of the fa fast of Ramadan and in particular from 17, uh, uh, from uh, 5 uh, p.m. that the meeting of the teams are carried out on the Omnis program of the CDC. Several tens of clubs are brought to compete uh, for the great victories of this uh, uh, tournament. Uh, soccer, soccer, foot, handball, tech ball, and cheese uh, are the disciplines of laser sports chosen for this year's 2022 in front of a public that came to enjoy the atmospheres and have uh, good times. Many fans gather around the field for on the stand to support their respective teams. The Union for Democracy and Justice, uh, UDG, organized a collective star yesterday at Sheraton Hotel. The event was attended by the president of this political party, Ms. Ilaya Ismail Gedi Hared, the founded members, uh, uh, party members, supporters, and other guests at the beginning of the occasion. Uh, the participant uh, recited the right half of the founders of the party, the, the late Ismail Gedi Hared asking the all-merciful, the most merciful, to welcome him in, into his eternal paradise. Uh, the participant also took this opportunity to involve uh, the Almighty Lord to accept the prayers and fastings of this blessed month of Ramadan, as well as preserve our countries from the drought, which is uh, raging in the region. Uh, on the sidelines of this iftar, Elias Ismail Gedi Hared announced the official launch of the websites of, of the Union for Democracy and Justice and membership cards with a QR code. In a brief speech, the president of the Union for Democracy and Justice, Elias Ismail Gedi Hared, spoke on the, of the uh, importance of this meeting, noting that uh, his party has become the first 100% digital party in the country. This, the time has come to open up uh, to those uh, who share our convictions to open up the democratic transition traditions uh, to meet uh, the ecological requirement, uh, the changes in the digital society, the changes in capitalism, he said, president of the UDG for democracy and justice. The King Father Sports Complex hosted last night the finals of the first editions of the Ramadan Open Tournament. Uh, open Tournament of Basketball and Volleyball for the disciplines. The football team of uh, the one of the others favorite of the competition is uh, the Arta Solar Seven teams. Uh, Last until the end of the month, brought together around 20 teams per disciplines in a festive and fraternal ceilings. In addition, it's, uh, the these uh, football uh, meetings uh, between uh, UT Solar Sevens and uh, The Djibouti Football Federation organized the closing ceremony of the national championship of the D1 seasons uh, last night at Guled Stadium. Uh, Saturday night, the team of Solar 7 faced the team of Arhiba, which will return to the second division and the paces uh, with uh, 12 goals to 1 against the team of Arta Solar 7, uh, crowned champions of the first division. The 18th day come uh, with a surprise for the team of the sports, which was uh, in the fourth place following the race of the second place. The vice champions after the champion team uh, crowned the Arta Solar 7, which won a second title of the national championship in the presence of the president of the federation with the two president of the champion uh, club Arta Solar 7, Tommy 
Tayoro Kinosa and uh, Jama Omar uh, Migaga, the club of eye sport, as well as the director of the stadium, Mogule de Fatuma Dabale. Medals were given to the referees, followed the, by trophies and medals for the vice champion team, eye sport, and a trophy with the check of uh, 500,000 Djibouti francs given to the captain of the team, Hamad Burhan, by the hand of the president of the federation as for the national champion uh, team Arta Solar 7 a trophy and medals with a check of uh, 1 million Djibouti franc handed to the captain of the team Alexander Song the ceremony ended with a family photo the movement of the united and united on uh, indivisible use organized a ceremony of collective breakings of the fast on saturday 2022 at the Capital Hotel uh, under the team, uh, the chain of hope uh, of the youth. Think about, uh, think of the others, uh, this collective breaking of the fast, which takes place on the 22nd day of the blessed month of Ramadan, brought together in a friendly and festive atmosphere, young leaders, young executives, young uh, parliamentarians, disabled people, young entrepreneurs, and members of the association uh, from different communes of the capital and interior regions. Uh, it uh, also saw the participation of the president of the commune of Palbala, Blaus and Rastika, who honored uh, with their presence this traditional iftar of movement of the youth, uh, one and indivisible. Taking the floor before the guests, the president of the movement, uh, one uh, and indivisible, Ahmed Mugola, wished the youth of Djibouti the best for the future. Ahmed Mugola welcomed all the guests uh, and recalled that the collective breakings of the fast uh, is a key moment of Ramadan, especially when it is shared collectively, and that's why it is so important. Under the high patronage of the prefect of uh, the Dikhil Adendra, Musa was held yesterday afternoon a collective iftar ceremony, followed by a distribution of clothes of the Eid al Fitr to the profit of the orphans and persons with the special needs of the extant uh, sub prefectures of the Mulud locality. A ceremony marking for its uh, fourth edition began with a collective after with uh, elders and civilians uh, and uh, covered more than 150 orphans people with special needs in order to make them happy with joy uh, for Eid al Fitr. The ceremony was also attended by the local authorities headed by the prefect of the region, the vice president of the regional council, Mr. Ibrahim Guru, representative of the Department of Solidarity and Military and Civilian Authorities, as well as young organizers from the locality of Mulud. The Regional Council of Tajarra, chaired by President Omar Hussein Omar, organized a collective iftar, participated uh, by the Deputy Prefect Habib Jilani, the elders, the ulema, the neighborhood leaders, civil and military society, as well as the elders. Uh, the iftar is usually a great moment of sharing, which uh, is characterized by an abundant table, so allowing everyone to feast until the uh, the president of the regional council, Omar Hussein, says that a great uh, pleasure for me to share with you a very nice meeting to the happiness of a pleasant uh, meeting around the magnificent collective iftar. Very welcome. Uh, we also thank the, all the guests for all the good times spent together with atmospheres and without noises. For the international scene, the Democratic Republic of Congo has declared the forces uh, Ebola outbreak after a confirmed case was reported in Bondaka, a uh, town in the northwestern Equator province. The World Health Organization's Office for Africa announced Saturday in a statement a positive cases of Ebola virus disease has been reported uh, in the Mangata Health Zone of Equator province, uh, John Jack, uh, Bangani, DRC, Congolese health minister, is confirming Saturday in December 20. The Democratic Republic of Congo declared the end of its uh, 730s Ebola outbreak, where eight confirmed and this uh, probable case, including six deaths, very reported uh, in the northeastern province of uh, North Kivu. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have a good evening.